morning guys welcome to the vlog I'm currently in the Starbucks drive-thru and I'm pretty sure the guy in front of me can see me vlogging but it's fine I'm having a coffee and then I'm going to get my atrocious nails filled because tomorrow is Thanksgiving and I do not want my nails to look like this in front of Chad's family. They are really looking bad right now. I feel like I don't go as long as the average person with their nails. Like I definitely get mine done sooner because I can't stand when they have any kind of a chip or a ding. Like I just can't take it. It drives me crazy. So I just have to get them redone. It is so high maintenance. Got my coffee. Sorry if my voice sounds muffled. I literally just put my mask on because I'm about to hop out of the car. And then I decided I'll show you guys my order. So I just got a grande iced coffee with two pumps chestnut, one pump white mocha, and then extra praline topping and some cream. And it is so good. You can see all the little pralines sitting at the bottom. It tastes so good when you stir it up. Perfect. Well, I am back home now and I am officially in full Christmas mode. I just decided to go for it and get some really pretty Christmas inspired nails. I didn't go like all out with like red and gold. I feel like these are very muted Christmas nails because they're like pretty neutral still. And it was all inspired by this candle from Bath and Body Works that I just got. I just loved the way this looked. And so I got my nails inspired by the candle. <laughs> Anyways, I just changed into this gorgeous top from Windsor. I love it. I love the color of it. Totally matches my nails. I am digging this. I'm interrupting the vlog really quick to talk to you guys about today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Orate and I couldn't be more excited to work with them. They are a jewelry brand that is founded by women for women based out of New York City. They have so many pieces to choose from and all of them are great quality. And one of my favorite parts is the fact that they have such a wide price range. So if you're someone who's looking for a gift, maybe you only wanna spend around $100, they've got that, but then they also have really quality pieces if you wanna spend a little bit more. I picked out some really pretty gold rings from their website and I've been wearing them all week and I'm not normal a ring person because I don't have any quality rings. Usually rings leave green marks because we're constantly sanitizing and washing our hands and I love Orate's rings because they don't do that. They're high quality. You don't have to worry about that. You can actually wash your hands, take a shower, do whatever you want with your rings on. So I am now a ring girl and I absolutely love these. They're very dainty pieces and they complement each other so well. And this one I actually got two of, one for my left pointer finger and then for my right ring finger because I just thought it was so pretty. They make my hands just so much prettier and they complement my nails, which you guys know I'm always getting my nails done. The rings that I picked out, they're all pretty affordable price points, so I'll link them in the description if you guys want to check them out. But there is one ring that I had my eye on. It's definitely more expensive but it is so freaking pretty so you know once i get a ring on this finger maybe that will be my next uh request if chad proposes to me maybe like next christmas i can ask for this one it's their halo diamond opal ring you guys it is so pretty go look it up on their website right now it has diamonds surrounding this opal and it's gold and it's just so Ritty, I love it so much, but it is more expensive, so maybe that will be on my wish list down the road. With it being the holiday season, Ore is the perfect place to shop for gifts, and you can rest assured that the pieces you choose from Ore are great quality because they have a lifetime warranty. And right now, you guys can get 15% off your first purchase from Ore. Just go to Ore, that's A-U-R-A-T-E, New York.com slash Melissa Lucy, and again, that's 15% off your first purchase. So it's a perfect time to buy something for yourself or even get someone a gift. And again, that promo code is Melissa Lucy. And thank you again, Orate, for sponsoring today's video. I am absolutely in love with my new rings. I am a ring gal now. It is way later now. I did not vlog anything because I've literally been sitting at my computer for the last like three hours. It's now 4.30 and I've been creating the Black Friday sales for Sun Bunny. And I had to create some website graphics, which I am not the best at but i uh, managed to come up with one that i think looks really good and i'll just go ahead and show you guys because this is gonna go up probably on black friday or after black friday so you guys will have already seen the sales here's the website graphic that i came up with so that way when you go to the black friday sales page this is kind of what you see it gives you all the discount codes and then the sales that i created so i'm pretty happy with how this turned out took me forever but it looks good in the mail. This is dangerous. I'm so excited. Okay, we have these, which, oh my gosh, 
white super soft sweaters. And then these ones. It's dark in here, but vlog fam gets to see the new inventory before it hits the store. This is the softest, coziest sweatshirt ever. Well, it's more like a hoodie, I guess. So cute, it has drawstrings and a hood and then a big pocket here. And it's literally like blanket material. So cozy and it's like this pretty ivory cream color. And then the other thing that's coming, this really pretty purple color block sweater that I am obsessed with. I just love the color of it. And I usually don't go for color. I'm pretty neutral myself, but I really like this purple and then the gray at the bottom. I think it's so cute. And both of these are gonna be coming probably next week after Black Friday and all that's over. Well, I look absolutely atrocious right now. Freaking anyone else break out from wearing their mask? I swear I wash them, but they still make me break out. Chad and I just played three games of chess. I told you guys that we've been watching The Queen's Gambit and it inspired us to get our chess board out. We used to play all the time. Like we used to be addicted to it and play it like every night together. So we just played for the first time in forever and it was really good. Chad won the first two games, I won the last game. Um, the first game initially didn't count though because we had the board set up wrong. So we're just gonna call it one to one. Um, but that last game was so good. I literally, it went on forever, but it was so good. And now we are about to actually finish The Queen's Gambit. We're gonna watch the last episode. And then tomorrow is Thanksgiving, so we're gonna be up bright and early. We have to cook. We're going to his family's house for Thanksgiving. And we are bringing a few sides and I'm making cookies. So we have to cook slash bake in the morning. Good morning, guys. Happy Thanksgiving. Chad and I are watching the Macy's Day Parade on the TV and we are cooking slash baking. I'm just about to start the cookies. Chad is making brown rice and uh, stuffing. We're so excited. His family makes dressing every year, which is like the Southern version of stuffing, but Chad and I prefer like classic stuffing, which is what I grew up with. So we make classic stuffing and bring that. several days later now I didn't vlog anything the last several days it's actually the last day of November November 30th and tomorrow vlogmas starts so I figured I would just keep this vlog going and <laughs> tomorrow will be vlogmas I actually finished my vlogmas intro last night I was gonna hire someone to do it but I was playing around and I created a really cute one myself and I feel like I'm more proud of an intro that I made myself than someone else who made it for me. So I hope you guys like it. It's really short and simple. I know that truthfully viewers don't really care about the intro, but I do think it adds a little nice touch to like a series like Vlogmas. 
I just put my rain jacket on because it is pouring down rain right now. It's actually going to be raining like all day today. A uh, cold front is coming into Florida and this rain is what's kind of bringing that cold front. So I don't really mind a rainy Monday because it's going to be like cold all week, which I'm so excited about because we're going to get our Christmas tree this week and it's actually going to be cold out. I just think it's going to be so nice. So yeah, I put my raincoat on. We're going to go drop off some packages at the post office. the packages and I just got a peppermint mocha and it is so good. I don't actually like getting the peppermint mocha lattes because I feel like they're too much milk for me and also just too sweet overall. So what I like to do is just order a Pike Place just hot coffee with three pumps of mocha and one pump of peppermint and some cream and it is perfect. It's just like a regular cup of coffee with the peppermint mocha flavoring and it's delicious. Cheers. Also, I scrunched my hair if you can't tell. I knew it was going to be raining today and I knew that like obviously my hair was going to get wet. What I didn't know though is that I was going to step in a puddle. I don't know how I didn't see it. The puddle was like three feet deep. That is a little bit of an exaggeration. But anyway, I tried to scrunch my hair and um, this is what came of it. <laughs> I remember back in the day when scrunching your hair was like the cool hairstyle and uh, I used to do it all the time in like high school. But my hair just like doesn't really scrunch anymore. I put some mousse in it and I try to scrunch it up and it's just like wavy. But I still feel like it gives it a little texture. Kind of nice heatless hairstyle but it doesn't really scrunch anymore like it used to. Well I'm back home now and the electricity's out. And Chad texted me while I was out. I think our security system like sends an alert when it's down. But I figured it would end up going right back on because usually when it goes out it goes right back on. But um... It's been out for a while now, so we contacted FPL, but they're already aware and evidently there's like 20 something houses without electricity right now. And they're predicting that it will be back on in a couple of hours. But I'm like, I can't do any of my work because it all involves my computer. So I'm sitting here with my laptop right now, just using my hotspot, trying to get like some stuff done, but it's at 23%. So I don't have much time left on it. So I had to do some Cyber Monday sales for the website. So I was sending out some text message campaigns and then I was just creating like the discount and sharing all of that. But there's only so much I can do without my main computer. I also had to edit a sponsored video. Can't do that because all of the footage is on my desktop, which needs electricity. Crazy. I feel like I'm living back in the olden days and I need to like get a book out and light a candle. What would the world do without Wi-Fi? I really wouldn't survive. It's a little bit later now and the electricity came back on, obviously, and I'm eating some goldfish and I'm actually about to play Animal Crossing. I still have things that I should do today, but I don't know. I just don't feel like it. I was also gonna go to the gym today and I didn't feel like it, so I didn't go and that's okay. I actually skipped forward to December on Animal Crossing so that I could enjoy the snow. I am trying to convert my island to be more holiday themed now, obviously with it being December. And so I just like fast forwarded in the game, which I know some people don't like that, but I really wanted to appreciate the snow while I'm decorating. Helps me get my ideas flowing for like a winter theme.
Crossing for like two hours now and I still haven't gotten very far. <laughs> I feel like Animal Crossing is so time consuming and I try to remind myself that it's enjoyable like working on my island. It doesn't have to be like perfect right away but sometimes I just get like so overwhelmed and I just want it to look perfect right now even though it takes time, a lot of time. So I'm gonna heat up some leftovers. Chad and I made homemade chicken noodle soup last night for dinner. So I'm gonna heat that up. We have a cold front coming through tonight, so it'll just be like the perfect night for some chicken noodle soup. And then tomorrow it's gonna be super, super cold and it's also the first day of Vlogmas. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this so that I can edit and upload it tonight. And I will see you guys tomorrow for Vlogmas day one. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video.